Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Lennelson Brink, and we are one. Today, we are going to be updating the Steam Deck Remote Play PS4, PS5 guide, which is essentially allows you to play your PlayStation in your basement, anywhere in your house. For me, it's in my bedroom, which is on the opposite side of the house without ever have to be connected. I do mine through Wi-Fi. You could hook any different system up to whatever um, Ethernet or uh, system that you have at your house, but you're able to play your games, the games that you love so much on the PlayStation on your deck and have a good time. I'm also going to show you this really cool tool that's gonna simplify this whole process. And you're also going to be able to know a couple of tips that are gonna help you out in the end to make sure that the whole experience is much better. Um, so make sure to watch the whole video and let's get into it. But before we do that, like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Now we can officially get into the guide. So I'll see you over there. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to be in desktop mode. And once you're in desktop mode, you're going to wanna open up your Discover app. And if you don't have it on the toolbar right here, you can also find it, you can, you can search for it even. So if you really don't want to go like finding anything, you can search for these, the apps and whatnot in this, uh, the search portion. Now, once you have Discover up, you can search for Chiaki. Okay, and if you don't know how to launch the keyboard, you can go ahead and hit the Steam plus X button. So if you hold down Steam and then hold down the X button, it will pop up the on-screen keyboard, which then you can use the trackpads or the touch screen to type in uh, the search terms and stuff that we talk about in this video. So and then gosh. once you found it, install it. Okay, now that you've downloaded Chiaki, we can go ahead and launch it. What Chiaki really is, is just a different type of interface for you to be able to remote into your PlayStation. It uses the same protocols that some of the first party apps that PlayStation and Sony um, release. And so it's not gonna be a whole lot different. You can see it even recognizes uh, my current PlayStation right here. And if you do not see your PlayStation right here, or when you open Chiaki first, make sure to go to your PlayStation, turn it on, and go to the settings, and then go to the system tab, and then in there you're gonna also find a remote tab, uh, remote play that is, and then once in there, you can toggle it on. Make sure it's toggled on, that your uh, network's all set up with your PlayStation. If it's not on the network, you're not, it's not gonna be discoverable right here. So once you've done that, you've set up the whole thing, um, make sure, if you don't see it here, once again, just restart Shiaki. So quit out and, start and launch it again. Now, if you continue to have issues, you're gonna have to go the manual route, which is gonna require IP configuration and all that. And it's gonna be beyond this guide. So let's uh, stick with this for now. Now, let's go ahead and actually do the connection, the actual registering of the console. The tricky part is that the PlayStation account ID is um, it's encoded and we have to get it in such a specific way. And luckily I created a tool to make this easier. This is one of the reasons why the last guide stopped working. And so I created this tool that will allow us to get that account ID. You're also gonna need the pin and that pin is gonna come from when you go to actually set up and, con and register this with Chiaki from your PlayStation. Your PlayStation will have a pin for it. And we'll get into that towards the end. Now, go ahead and hit the sign into PSN. It's gonna launch up this pop-up portion of a browser. Put your credentials in for your PlayStation account, that is. And this is very important as this is how we're gonna be getting the account ID. So, once you sign in, if you have the two-step verification process enabled, you're gonna have to verify through whatever route it tells you. In, my, in this case, it's gonna be uh, text via my phone. So once you have put in the verification code, you verify, it's gonna do a, a callback or redirect. And you can see, once you see redirect, we can go ahead and, and come up here, select the whole thing, um, hit Control C, or if you're on your Steam Deck, you can hit the left trackpad down. It will pop up with a menu, and then you just click on the copy with the right trackpad down. Once you've got that copied, you can come back over here. It, explains a little bit of steps, but we've already done all the steps. And then we just paste it in here. You can once again, hit the left trackpad down and select the paste. Or if you're on a keyboard, 
to copy is to control C, to paste is control V. And then once you've pasted it in there, we're gonna do get ID, give it a second to then get the ID. And now that we have it, you can copy to clipboard and you can just paste it over here. And then if you really want to save this, you can log in or join. If you haven't joined the Games Revealed website and community yet, you can join and then you can copy this so you don't have to uh, do it again. So the point of this is you can go to your profile on Games Revealed and get this code again so you don't have to go through this whole process. Or even if the process breaks in the future, who knows if Sony is going to break, um, you can come back and get your account ID from the website. Now, I will also note that I will be putting updates into the description below. So this website that you're seeing will be in the description of this video. So you're gonna have to go below the video, read more, and you'll find the URL. And it will, I will always try to have one or two URLs there. And it's gonna point to this or a guide that will have this uh, tool built into it. Okay. Now let's enter that pin that we see from PlayStation. Okay, now that you've entered your account ID and your pin from your PlayStation, and to do that on the PlayStation, um, when you enabled remote play, there should be another button right below that that you should be able to connect your system. If you click that, it'll give you the pin. It is timed for about 300 seconds so make sure to do it within those 300 seconds if you started the process before doing this you might just need to check to make sure that you refresh it now that we've entered both of our pieces of information let's go ahead and register oh looks like it worked we got a successfully <clears throat> we got a successfully registered uh code back and so now we just hit okay then if we double click into this it will launch but i don't want to launch right now I want to launch later. So let's go ahead, click out of a bunch of these items that we've loaded up. Now we can go into Steam or there's another way to add to Steam. Um, this is the way I prefer. And you can just look for Chiaki. Then if you right click on Chiaki right here, you can then add to Steam. I find this route to be just a little easier. And then let's load Steam up to just to make sure that it got loaded in properly. So if we go to our search in the library, type in Shiaki, and then you see we got it. Okay, now if we wanna apply like some artwork to this to make it feel more PlayStation-esque, then we can use Steam Grid DB. So if we just type in PlayStation, there's a bunch of different images. If we wanna go a step for further and put in PlayStation 5, we can see, hey, we have PlayStation 5 right here. Let's go ahead and download some of these. Now, um, I'm gonna include these URLs in the description of the video so that, or it will be in the guide that I will link to this video in the description below. So um, essentially, you just bring up the link. This one's an icon. We're gonna go ahead and hit download. Right click, which is the left trackpad down. You'll get this menu save image as and for this one i will just do ps icon it's going to save it in the downloads and then we're going to go ahead and download the banner portion which just hit this download as png in this case it will pop up and we can rename this to ps banner then for the last piece is the pill download as png ps pill and now that we're done with that, we can go on to the next fun part. Let's go to settings. Well, manage. And then we're going to go to properties. If you want, you can rename this to PS Remote Play. Just because it's a little bit more descriptive. Then we can go ahead and set the icon. The icon can be found in the downloads. If we just go to home, deck, then go to downloads. And then you'll see we have our PS icon, PS pill. Let's do ahead the Go ahead and do the PS icon. And then we can go ahead, drop out of this, the manage. And then you can go ahead and set this custom background. Gonna wanna go to the downloads section. Okay, and then we're gonna select the PS banner. Hit open and it's right there in all its glory. So uh, we did lose where Chiaki is because we renamed it the to PS remote play. If you 
are doing that along with me. Now, if you want to add the peel, this is usually how I do it. I usually just drag and drop this into one of these collections, go into the collection, find it, right click, manage, set custom artwork. This one automatically opens up the downloads. I don't know why. And then we can select the PS peel, open. Now you're not gonna see it update right away, but if we navigate away, navigate back into there and we can see it right there in all its glory. Now that we've got this all set up, um, let's go and try it out in game mode. That's the true test for all of this. Let's go on over to game mode. Okay, now that we're in game mode, let's go on over to our library by hitting the Steam button, selecting library. Then if you use your R1 to navigate on over to non-Steam, you will now see the PlayStation 5. It even has an animated background, which is beautiful. And then if we go ahead and just hit play, it should launch. Now, this is the trickier part. You're gonna have to use your finger to tap it, or if you hold down Steam button, it will activate mouse mode. And then if you just hover over it and double tap R2, it will then load it. And now if it connects to the PlayStation just fine, it you'll be able to go into a game or whatnot. I already had a game loaded up, but if you want to quit out of your game, you just hit the Steam button or quick access button. If you hold that down, it'll give you a little bit of a guide here. And you can see, hey, it looks like the left D-pad will be the escape key. And the escape key for the PlayStation Remote Play activates the PlayStation button. So you can get in and out of here if I want to switch games or whatnot. Now, there is one big thing. If you start the, let's say if you put the PlayStation to sleep with Netflix or something else open, you, the remote process becomes a little hairy. Like you can't really remote into it. You'll get a black screen. So you're going to want to make sure that you've quit out of whatever application that doesn't, um, they have certain protections that don't allow you to remote in so that you can't record and, and do some, it's just like anti-piracy kind of measures. Um, and so just make sure you're either in a game when you put your PlayStation to sleep or that you've quit out of everything and then it'll just make it a lot easier for, if you want to remote play somewhere else in the house or if you get this to work across distances. Right now, this guy does not cover remote playing outside of your home. And so just take that into account. There will be another guide in the future on that. This only allows you to play on your Wi-Fi or your network, your local area network. So um, let's, let's look how this plays now. I will note that the trackpad on the PlayStation um, controller doesn't work. I haven't found a good way to get it to work. You, there are ways to make it so it taps down and all that, but it is just not very great. You don't get the swiping and the gestures on it. So if a game requires that, you're gonna have a hard time. And I've yet to get a PlayStation 5 controller with the trackpad to work properly on the Steam Deck. So um, that could change in the future. You could always look for it, but just take into note that the trackpad on the PlayStation controller does not translate over well. So if you have games that rely heavily on that, it's a little difficult at times. But you can see, hey, this is working great. And we can play with all our games and whatnot on it. Um, we're not going to go much further. I just wanted to show you that, hey, this works. Okay, and if you want to quit out of it now, you just hold down the Steam button or the quick access menu button in the bottom right of your Steam Deck controllers controls. And then you can hit the escape key. Then we'll just navigate down to the power button. Click that and you can hit enter rest mode. It'll put your PlayStation 5 into rest mode and we can see that the session has quit. Um, if it does hang like this, sometimes it can, you just gotta qu go in and quit out. And then you'll see, hey, we're back to this screen. So everything should be pretty self-explanatory from here on out. There is a couple of things you can do to make your experience a little bit better. First up is, are you having connection issues? There's a couple of things you can do to fix this. And there's a couple of things. So first up, you can change the settings. Uh, if you go into Chiaki, there are settings. I, per I recommend doing this in desktop mode as you just get a little bit more control. In uh, game mode, it doesn't, it doesn't work as well. You can still do it there. It just works better in desktop mode. And there are 
various amounts of settings that include codecs, that include audio, video, bit rates. That type of stuff can help if you just adjust it. It can help with audio, video, and various other issues that you that might arise as you're playing. That being said, I think the major problem that people are going to have if you're having those types of issues is probably your router. So you can either change the bit rates or your, get a new router is kind of my recommendation with those. Um, if it's an older router especially, then it might be time to upgrade. Now, with the audio, for sure, it's verified from someone in the comments that if you set your audio buffer to 19 1200 that should help solve some of the audio cracking now you can adjust that uh, number up and down if you need to you can adjust uh, various other things as you test it out it's just it's one of the pains and it's not going to be perfect for everyone i think some of these settings are going to be specific to the steam deck but others are just because your connection um, that's a big part of this is just how good your connection is now those are connection issues. It, it might not resolve everything, but it's the stuff that I can recommend for now. As I don't have some of the problems that you might be having, I can't recommend any other bit rates or anything else. I can just say, you're gonna have to mess around with these settings and it's fixed it for some people. Now let's go on to uh, the, the buttons. How, the, the mysterious trackpad that you cannot get to in the, in the deck. Now, I have good news and bad news. Good news is that you can get the trackpad button down button to work. You can't get the swiping the gestures to work yet. At least I haven't been able to get it to work, whether or not connecting a PS5 controller or just on the deck itself. But let's talk about the trackpad first. So it's mapped to T on your keyboard because these settings are typically used with a keyboard and mouse on, let's say, a PC but because we're in game mode, we don't really have access to the T button, and not very easily at least. So what I recommend doing is going into the settings on Chiaki and going to the, and it will be on the right side, ch uh, changing that trackpad from T to tab. Okay, now that we have finished setting up our PlayStation 4 or 5, whatever it is that I guess those are the only two, and we're able to play, remote play on it from anywhere in the house, um, Let's get into the comment section. So let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this. Was it easy? Was it nicer? Um, I'm hoping for even easier and that we don't have to use the tool that I built in the future that it just, that PlayStation comes out with a first party supported app. And it's even added to the Steam uh, library. Like essentially we can just go and download it from the Steam store. But for now, this is the best, easiest way that I know of to play it so let me know if you have issues you can comment below but the best place to go to is the website at gamesrevealed.com i'll have a location where you can uh, suggest that there's something wrong or maybe to improve something so that you can report it and it'll be easier for me to get back to you and you can also see maybe a collection of what other people have found to fix issues um, as those can always arise as people have different experiences and time goes on, things can change. Chiaki could update and break everything. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Check out the other goodies below in the description and watch some of my other videos and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Later.